What is popping? Hey, I've been on live all that time. Man, I don't know what, yo, I couldn't imagine. I just hit going live, man. So you mean to tell me if I don't hit live, y'all still see what's going on? I didn't know that, man. I could be walking around here butt naked thinking that, uh, hey, can't nobody see me. <laughs> I'm cool, dog. I didn't even know that, dog. All that time, man, I've been wiring up the studio, man. I had to, like, had to get some wiring together. There's some wiring that just wasn't right. And I was adding some stuff in. Bada bada bing. Good to see y'all. So uh let me let me save this real quick. Let me save this, y'all you know I mean right here. I was your boy. We got money. Now we're gonna holler at your boy. We have this joint right here, good money. We're gonna be starting a new song. But I got so tired, tired up wiring up my new equipment that and looking at the Pacquiao fights. I get ready for that Pacquiao Brona join. Y'all know it's gonna be popping off. January 19th or January 9th? Whatever it is, it's gonna be popping off. Hope everybody's going, well, man. Hopefully everybody's doing good tonight. Y'all know you don't hang around on Friday night, but you know what? <clears throat> it's all right. It's all right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And you in the building too. If I'm in the building, you in the building, baby AJ in the building. Driving all around the world. The boy drives around the world. He don't just drive around the country. AJ drives around the world. That's what he do. Seven likes. Seven. Yo, what? I didn't wear it. I didn't wear it. I didn't wear it. I wore this baby right here. Now, let fairness be fairness. What's going on, C-Money? When I wore this today and I went to the office and the young lady who's in the office usually there to my I smell good, she ain't mentioned anything. Keeping it real. She didn't say, oh, you smell good today. And I think that's because usually she like when I wear sweeter scents. Like when I rolled in there with like H HOS01 or something like that, something sweet. She like the sweeter vanilla stuff. When I wear vanilla, bam, oh, you smell so good. But this right here, I don't think, what's going on, Asaw? I don't think she kind of felt this, but she instead was stinking, though. I ain't walking in. She was like, oh, what, what the heck is that? Yo, what's going on? What's that? Hey, what's going on? Hey, man, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. All that time, y'all been checking me out. I thought Tom Ford trying to get that X market share. <laughs> Bundle spray. Uh, Mr. Ryan, hope you're ready to hope you. I'm good. Okay, got you rides in the building. 29, everybody is still bespoke. Center of the night. What's that? Bespoke Creed. Uh, it was a ride. It was a saw. Um, Swiper Ood from Burma. Okay, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, some Petite Matin. I like that. Petite Matin was pretty nice. I don't really like citruses like that, but I kind of like that Petite Matin. I got to admit. All good. How did your boy? was good? Ain't nothing, man. I'm here about to work on a track. I'm about to work on a song, but... I done got kind of late, and I can't be waking up the neighbors because I like it loud. So, again, lasted eight hours easy. And after eight hours, after I got off work, I did like that. I can still smell it. Now, here's the thing. I was out in the rain. I was out climbing up and down on the train because Philly whispered miss. All right. Man, whispered miss is crazy, dog. I know, man. I know, man. That's the Illuminati dirty, dog. Illuminati dirty, man. You can't put them fires out, man, because they spraying stuff to make the fires go more. Unbelievable, man. That's that's crazy, man. And that's sad, too, bro. That's really sad, man. But you know what, dog? Y'all going to be all right. Kylie going to be all right in the long run because I don't know. I'm just going to pray for y'all, man. See a prayer for y'all tonight, man, for Cali, because I saw it today, man. And, you know, we can't forget about, like I said, things that go on around us, man. You know, we sit around, ba 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 da bing Man, we got to think about other people, too, man. So, look here, Jay Ray, man. Hope everything slows down out there, man. Hope they're able to stop, you know, trying to burn y'all out out there, man, because I think they're trying to burn y'all out. You know, ain't no water out, Cali. They trying to burn you out. I mean, it's crazy, man. I know it sounds like a conspiracy theory, but it is what it is. Yeah, Manny, Manny bucking him out, man. Manny, Manny, Manny giving him the business, dog. 
Manny giving him the business. <laughs> yeah. Cotto got beat down. Margarita got beat down. 16 in the house, only seven likes. Let's talk about it. Again, I still like it, man. <clears throat> There's no way you're going to talk me out of this. I think it's good as a spray. If you spray it on your clothes, it's going to last forever. It smells like the juice. He got the best chemist in the world. I just hope that baby, it just won't do it. What are we doing now? Yo, what's up? All right, what's going on, RP? Glad to see you in the house, my brother. Like, subscribe, and share. I'm glad to see you here. 16 in the house, only 10 likes. That means we got six spies. Probably some people for my job, too. I heard they're looking at me at my job, man. Trying to see if I'm putting up something about this 17 Bridges movie. I'll give a crap about the 17 Bridges movie, man. I hope it flops. How about that? Anyway, yo, what's up? Quick question. Is the Nordy New Orleans blind by worthy? I'm worried about smelling too feminine and roles no people talk about. That's like talking about Anwaj Lyric Man. Anwaj Lyric Man has a freaking rose note. That kind of borders on, it may be a little feminine, <clears throat> it may be a little masculine. It's a little bit of both. If I had to buy both, I probably would buy, I don't like Lyric Man. I don't like it. I never liked it. I never liked it from hype day one when I came into the game. He's like, yeah, Lick, man, here, here, Rose Note, greatest Rose Note ever. No, one of the greatest, what's going on, baby? What's going on, JK? All right, now, one of the best Rose Notes out there, out there, is actually made by Armani Preve. That rose sent to Armani Preve guy. Oh, man, it's a beautiful rose, man. And, you know, and what's going on with a nice Damascus rose, too? MFK used a nice Damascus rose in A La Rose. But, man, nah, man, that rose, I like, I, in fact, I like Rose of No Man's Land 500 times better than I ever like Lyric Man. And, I mean, if you like clove, then Frederick Moore's rose a portrait of a lady is nice too, but it's that clove I can't get over. That's why I like Epic Woman to beat. I like Epic Woman to knock out. Epic Woman to knock out Portrait of a Lady all day long. Because Epic Woman is like the same as Portrait of a Lady without the clove note. So I think it's BAM! Knocks it out with a straight right hook thrown by Deontay Wilder with his eyes closed. With a Danny, Danny Garcia Philly blind left hook knockout. So, no, I'm not a lyric man guy. Uh, the Rose. All right, baby, yeah, man, how you getting it in? Evening Rose. Oh yeah, don't forget about Evening Rose. Evening Rose by by uh, Aaron. Evening Rose by Aaron is a nice Rose too. Nior Dior is just not strong enough. Wah, wah, wah. Naughty Noir is made to wear if you're going out with your lady, for real, if you're a dude, of course, wearing it. If you don't go out to your lady, you're just going out for three to four hours. Y'all already made the reservation, so you're not waiting too long for the food. You're not waiting to get in. You get to the restaurant. Nice steak dinner. Nice steak dinner if you like steak, whatever. I'm talking about a primo dinner for Naughty Noir. A primo dinner. But get the reservation so when you get there, you don't have to wait that long. So if you only had to drive like a half hour to the spot, bam, get there, no wait, half hour for the food, maybe 35 minutes, you still good. It's still starting to seep up now. Around the time you start biting into that steak and the potatoes, that joint going to start like, <laughs> oh, I'm fading. I'm fading. New York, New York is a three hour to four hour piece, strong. Two of the two of the other hours, dry down. That's all you're gonna get, baby. So no, I wouldn't buy it as a rose. If you're gonna buy anything, if you're gonna buy anything by Tom Ford that's a rose, you will buy nothing. <laughs> that's it. So leave it alone, man. But if you want to buy a Tom Ford, man, it's gonna be classic. If you can find Amber Absolute. Uh, definitely uh, uh, um, Plum Japanese, Tobacco Vene, of course. Uh, 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 Verde Incense, I like that if you like incense. 
But yeah, man, for real, for real. The other thing you are is like a, a three to four. That's all I'm gonna give you. All right, let's get back. Khan got sent back to left. Oh man, Khan is garbage, dog. He's still trying to get a fight with Mayweather. He's garbage. Taif Uba. Okay, okay. I haven't smelled that, so you would know better than me, my baby. Uh, looking at the back, pictures to the future. Upalao is also a good rose. I will. Uh, I sold that. A uh, rose de Talib by what's called is not bad, but ah, uh, I think the rose in it is a nice rose because it is a, a nice rose. But I don't like the blend of the Paris Monte Carlo. Now I like Paris Monte Carlo juice. I have. I have uh, the um, the absolute, uh, 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 yeah, I mean, holla at your boy, John. So I got that. I mean, I even like their ooh piece. The rose, I really didn't take to it too much when I was at Bergdorf. I smelled the whole line. In fact, they had the, they had their representative. When you go to Bergdorf in New York, they always got a rep by their juice. Always got a rep by their juice. Paris Monte Carlo had a rep. A Nitio, uh, a Nitio had a rep. Um, well, it wasn't an on wide rep there, but they usually had their reps there. Killian had a rep. They had their reps, and they like get you down, you put you down, let you smell the juice, man. I smelled all the Paris Monte Carlos, and they're pretty good, but uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Rose Vanille, that's good. Rose Vanille is good. Rose Vanille, oh, Rose Vanille, if you talk about man, Sarah Rose Vanille, it's really a copy of Intense Cafe because he took their formula with him. But if you bought Delox by Terenzi, Taziani Terenzi, Rose Lanil and Delox spells the same. Uh, Fragrance Journey, Tuscan Leather, of course, only in the spray for me, Elborn, yes sir, holla at your boy. In the house, what's going on, Ron Mac? I ain't seen you in a while, cuz, good to see you, baby. 20 people in the house, only 11 likes, there must be nine spies. Burma, what's going on, baby? The only road you like is Declaration this sore. Oh, man. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cuddle getting beat down. Cuddle getting beat down, dog. Barma. Barma. I had to leave when you said that, dog. I had to leave when you said that. I don't know. Come on, Barma. How many roses have you smelled, brother? Have you smelled any... Any niche roses? Have you? I mean, Cartier got a nice rose oud scent. If you're down in Virginia, you can smell it. It's called 
Rose Oud by Cartier. You said declaration doing swore by Cartier. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to be fair, Barma. I'm trying you could you my boy. You my boy. I'm trying to be square with you, dog. Man, that's the worst freaking fragrance I ever smelled in my life. Next, Margarito had him on the Rav Kodo. Uh, Rose survives. <laughs> I should have known he was going to show up, man. I should have known freaking Jay Will was somewhere creeping somewhere along. I know he's creeping somewhere waiting to break something out. I should have known. 11 Vow, you bought, you bought that up, Jay? That's what's up, cuz. That's what's up. Lipstick rolls by Frederick Moore. I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't checked it out. Can't you? I'm sorry, Barbara. Come on, dog. I had to roll on that. Calligraphy rolls. Haven't smelled, I can't say. No, nah, man, I went the <laughs> Oh, sad move. That's what's up. Now I went to put my water on for my for my oatmeal and my tea, man. It was a perfect time to go. When he said declaration. Grand wash wah. I, I had to go. To, I said it's a perfect opportunity for me to go and put the water on for the tea and the oatmeal for my dessert. <laughs> I'm just saying, cuz I'll get that. Yo, dog. Uh, my bad, man. Uh, Pacquiao over Broner, man, but I want it to be a good fight. I definitely want it to be a good fight. Gold Rose Ood. I, I do I have that one? Is that Tiziana Terenzi? I don't know if I had that one. Go Rosu. Uh uh really? Joey Ray. Really? There's no rose in Tonka 25. And I got rose 31. I'm gonna go and get it right now. Now you don't don't mess with me like that, cuz. Don't mess with me. I sit there and I, I try to get along with people. I truly do. I try to get along with my, I try to get along with the subscribers, man. I try the best I can to get along with these subscribers. But somehow, these subscribers always want to play a game. Oh, my bad. How y'all doing, man? I was just talking to myself, man. I was talking to myself, man. Hey, what if Broner wins that fight, though? If Broner wins that fight, is he going to fight? If he, is he going to fight uh, uh, Mayweather? That would be crazy. I can't fight little bro, man. I can't I can't fight my bro, man. All right, let's go, Joey Ray. Taco 25, brand new in the bottle. Let's go. Taco 25 and Rose 31 smell. I know what Rose 31 smell like. I bought that for my moms. I know exactly what it smell like. Rose 31 smells like freaking insect repellent when you first put it on. All right, let's see. Maybe you're right, though. I'm here, Rose 31. Let's go. Cause I wouldn't doubt it, man. You know how you know how the Labo do, man. All right, here we go. Rose 31, Taka 25. Now we're not talking about in the dry down. We're talking about on the straight all the way through from top to bottom or somewhere in there. Here we go. Rose 31, insect repellent. When it first started off, smells like some stuff you spray, get rid of the mosquitoes. Next. Not even close, J. Ray. Not even close, dog. I know, man. Broner be bugging, man, but I'm just saying, man. I'm saying. He be trying to do the shoulder roll. He be trying to shoulder roll. That's what he do, dog. Shoulder roll. Like, like Mayweather, dog. Shoulder roll. Come on, dog. You know, wait, wait for that. He try to try. He try. And he can never pull counter. Nobody can pull counter like Mayweather. Mayweather sit back there and just wait. Well, I'm in the wrong stance. But for real, for real. Mayweather pull counter is crazy because you can't see it. Obviously, you can't see it because he pops everybody with that joint every fight. You can't see it with his stance because he always like leaning back. But then as soon as he, if he put, if he put his right leg back, so you, so let me see, right, let me get the right stance. Right stance, all right, all right, all right, right stance. If he put that right leg back and he got the arm back there and he's ready to pull counter, if he put that right leg back, everybody should know he's ready to pull counter. You should see it, because he set up the same way every time. Because he wait for you to throw. 
pull, bam, counter. He do it every time. If he put the right, he can't pull counter unless the right leg is back. He can't pull counter with the left leg back. He can't pull counter on the move. He can't pull counter unless he got the right leg back. If you see, if you see Mayweather go like this, and you, you see him, you see him with this getting ready, he ready to pull counter. Broner didn't learn it. He'll never learn that. You got to be grown up with that. Let's see. He's not a bum. He's just young and dumb. I agree. Rose D. Chanel is coming soon. Rose D. Chanel. Terizzi got a Rose game. Yeah, Terizzi, man. I'll, you, but you know, man, that Tiziana Terizzi is cool with Nasamato, with uh, Alexandrio. They boys. When I met him at the Sniffer Palooza at Oswald about a couple years ago, he was like, yeah, yeah, me and Alexandro is cool. So if you smell some of his juice, like when he came, like they had Black Afghano. When Watchcom came out with his joint, it smelled just like Black Afghano. I forgot the name of it. Terry Terenzi. Which one was it? He had one that smelled almost just like Black Afghano. I think my man gave him a little bit of the formula to get him in the game. Because that's how Terenzi got in the game with that, with that Black Afghano look-alike, smell-alike joint. Yeah. Cage alert. What we got? Oh, I haven't smelled the Herod. I mean, I, I like Broner acting a fool, too, man. He does, he comic relief, man. Uh, what's popping off, bro? What's going on, Martin? Hey, Martin, what's going on, baby? Anything good? We getting it, baby. We getting it. Broner was good at 130, 135, 147. Yeah. A little bit too much weight, man. DJ, what's going on, baby? Like, Broner, you got to let his hands down. Yeah, he do. He do, man. He do, because he be like lunching. He'll sit there. He want to do this all night. He want to he play this shoulder roll game all night. Shoulder roll, shoulder roll, shoulder roll. And he been he been on loss like 18 rounds by the time he finally punch off something, man. Y'all see, I got my jab. My, my jab is all right. My jab is consistent, you know what I mean? But my, my right is a little slow, but my jab is always pat, pat, pat in the face. Pat, pat, pat. So when I when I hit Alexandria, pat. When I hit Dua, pat. When I hit the Frag Luminati, pat. I keep the ear muffs on though. Ear muffs. Pat. Headphones on. Pat. Pat. Door. Pat. Alexandria. Pat. Fake joints. Pat. Creed. Pat. I'm good. Pat. But the knockout punch got to go in. Pat. Pat. I'm hitting him. Pat. Knockout punch. Bam. And finish. Bam. Oh, it's over. A finish is knocked out, dog. I knocked out a finish. Hey, you boy. Hey, thank you, man, for buying this. I hope you like the CD, cuz. I hope you like it. What we got now? He going bit bop, bing bop, can't shell up. Yeah, he can't he can't do it, dog. He can't do it. Yo, you see, you see Mayweather escape. He escaped, <laughs> he escaped Japan with his brain. Cause he was gonna jack that boy up. He thought he was going over there and fight for some freaking rich, ultra rich Asian cats. When he got over there, he was like, oh, I ain't know I had to do that. That boy book came back. Sometimes Mayweather be too greedy, man. Eighty-eight point five million dollars, he would have got his butt kicked. Cause they're like, we gave you eighty-eight, we gave you eighty-eight five. You got to kick, you got to do everything. You got to kick, back elbow, swing elbow. You got to do all that. He was like, no, dog, I ain't. Do I came over here, that's the box. I came over here to shoulder roll. I came over here to shoulder roll. They was like, nah, dog. He was like, well, I'm out, cause I'm out. Mayweather come running back home, didn't he? I'm trying to tell you. Bro, that blah, 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 let's hand go Floyd kill Mosey. I know, man, all day long. Mosey almost knocked that boy out, though. Mosey almost knocked him out because he was taking Mosey for granted. He, th he thought Mosey was old and slow. Mosey had crap. Crap that first time. And, and Mayweather's head, he just happened to be there. If Mosey had to hit that boy with that right and backed up like, like, like Mayweather does, remember, Mayweather pulled counter. He pulled, he counter, and then either he pushes off like that. Or either he just ducks under, he ducks under the expected punch. That's how he do. If Mosey had to crash him and did the same thing and moved out the way, Mayweather would have hit the flow, dog. Mayweather would have hit the flow. But Mosey just happened to be there after he popped him. Mayweather was there, and 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 and, and when he was able to grab him, man, I'm trying to tell you, Mosey almost knocked that boy down. At least he would knocked him out, but he knocked him down. He gets his hand on control, be counted. Bomb squad, bundle spray. What? Rose base, they dating. Right, Ladino Nero, right. Ladino Nero is the one that smells like black Afghano, and he admitted.
that Alexandro, like holiday his boyfriend announced a model hit. Bars. Team AJ. Man, AJ's a sissy, dog. AJ and freaking that dude, the freaking manager don't want no, they don't want no Wilder. They don't want that, they don't want that Alabama smoke. They don't want that. Cause Wilder gonna close his eyes and go like this. Yeah. And mess around, knock AJ out. Cause he's gonna see his eyes closed. AJ like, when he closed his eyes, he can't possibly hit me with BAM! Oh! So that's what's gonna happen. 25 in the house, 15 likes. I hope y'all enjoying yourself. We having a good time, baby. Andy Tyler got a couple of nights. Oh, yeah. The Instance Rose, dog. I got that last week. Instance Rose from my man, A to the Deuce. By the way, I got to say A to the Deuce is money, man. He sold that to me. I forgot. My bad. A to the Deuce. I'll send you money out uh, tomorrow. Send it right to PayPal you. Found my PayPal you tonight. Yeah, I'll PayPal you tonight while I get back and relax. Yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, Instance Rose, man. That's my main joint. Rose Kandahar. Eh. Instance Rose. Yeah. What's going on, Leonard? What's going on, baby? Jeff Horn beat Pacquiao. Come on, dog. You know Jeff Horn be. Jeff Horn's a straight weight bully, though. I would like to see. I would have liked to see Jeff Horn fight Spence. I mean, because Horn was a weight bully, man. He was pushing Pacquiao around. He grinded. He he holding Pacquiao under the head doing this. Give him give him head burners. Come on, man. Jeff Horn's a dirty fighter, man. But he know he had to do everything he could to win that fight. He was kicking the boy in the shins. Bow! Man, Jeff Horn dirty. That's why that that's why Crawford whipped that behind, man. Crawford's like, dog, it ain't going down. Ain't no Pacquiao, dog. Bars. What we got? Manny gonna be in his chest. Oh yeah, he will. That's what I'm saying. Horn beat Manny. Everybody know he won that fight, dog. Aaron knew Manny. Crawford, man. Man, Aaron don't want Crawford to get that real work. That, ah, no, nah, he, he don't want to get that real work. No, nah, no, nah, Mayweather just makes it happen. You be talking about your fight. Yep, yep, that's what he do. Mayweather's off the chain, dog. Those dudes from Dewey and Alexandria, they thieves, dog. Knock them out, man. Somebody need to pull counter them dudes from Dewey and freaking what's going on. Or let him, let him hit with a Danny, a Danny Garcia Philly blind punch, left hook. Bam! Or with a Wilder, close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and knock out door. You shouldn't have been close to him. I, I know, man, but, you know, he was set up, though, man. He didn't know that boy was going to be bullying him like that. He didn't know freaking Horn's going to be there to wrestle. Look at that fight. Look at that fight again. He was wrestling, man. It ain't made no sense. I mean, and the refs, the, the ref wasn't helping the boy at all. Ref was, the boy was hitting the boy behind the head on, bam, bam, behind the head. Ref wasn't saying nothing. Well, I ain't see that, dog. I ain't see that. I had a little bit too much wine. Hey, my, my water is boiling. I'll be right back. Alright, I'll be back. Woo! Y'all wearing me out tonight, dog. Y'all wearing me out, dog. He don't want no more. Cuddle don't want no more. Cuddle's like, I want no more, man. 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 But the real beating is when that crooked margarito put that lead in his gloves, fighting Mosley, and then... He fought, no, no, he put the lead in his glove, Margarito put that lead in his glove and beat up Cotto so bad with the bricks in his hand, then what you call him, courting, uh, Mosey, Mosey boy courting with the stuff in his wrist, jacked him up, and then Manny kicked his behind. Can't stand Margarito, man, and his coaches. They tr freaking tricksters and down low skanksters. Skanksters. If I had to spray them with a freaking scent, to kind of mark the skanksters they were. I was spraying with Doers of Venice. What we got? Floyd Rampatab. Yeah, 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 I know. I know, right? 
How dare you spit that? <laughs> Mosey should have went body at the... Yeah, yeah. He should have. Yeah, yeah, right. And he hit him, he started headhunting. He started here a minute. He said, I started headhunting. I started headhunting. What's going on, PK? And we talking boxing now, man. These cats all over the place in here. They all over the place. This is my fragrance is boxing. Brother, you really brother, you're a really disrespectful child. <laughs> what, man? What? Sound like you know a little bit about boxing. Just a little bit. Come on, Barma. Man, all I said was Dior de Swa. What's it called? Swa de Man, we really come on, Barma, man. Don't call me disrespectful, man. You know we playing, man. What I say, dog? What I say, Barma? Barma. Come on, man. What did I say, dog? Cause I don't like nobody saying it, man. AJ scared to death. Wild is a bum hunter. Eddie Hearn, yeah, no doubt. Look at the resumes. Ortiz a bum. No, Ortiz is straight. They scared of Ortiz, man. I don't think nobody want to mess with Ortiz like that anymore. You know what I mean? Uh, Wild the resume. Hey, Rod, want to add fresh a la rose? Yeah, man, I like I like a la rose. I got the little small little uh five mil. I like a la rose though. It's worth the purchase if you can find it at a discount price. It's not worth the two forty. I wouldn't pay the two forty for seventy four mil. I just wouldn't. You know what I mean? Hey, Barma, come on, man. Let me make up to you, dog. What I say, man? Burn out hot. I know. I just, I just checked that out too, man. I checked that out like about a month ago. I checked out the Hopkins uh, Trinidad joint. Yeah, no doubt. Spence, Duncan, Crawford. Come on, dog. Stop playing, FJ. Come on, dog. He just trying to get that money. He trying to get that money, man. And after he beat Garcia, then Crawford should be ready. What we got? Aaron running witness protection program. What's going on? All right, young guy. What's going on, baby? Anything good? No doubt, baby. That's what's up. West Coast in his house. Eagles Cowboys. Well, you know what that's going to be, baby. You know how we do. You know how we do. They got to play him, man. Yo, I'm trying to bring my boy back, man. Dak Joe Scott. <laughs> oh, he said, he said Dak Joe Scott. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Oh, Garnett needs to go. Mr. Clapper, Nick fan of Russell Washington. Cheer. I know, right? Right, right, right. What's going on, Archie? What's going on, baby? Fragrance there. Okay, good, good, good. Young guy back in. Rose Sin, holler at your boy. A look good green scent. A good green scent. It's Vert Dia Sins by Tom Ford. I like Vert Dia Sins. I also like Conic by Yosh. That's a good joint. That's a nice greenie. And actually, Bat. I like Bat for a green scent. Believe it or not. Dirty, grimy Bat. But when it dries down, Bat by Zoologist. Those are my three greens, man. I mean, I'm talking about straight green. Those are my straight greens right there, man. That's it. Bat. Conic, because Conic kind of got good green, and uh, and and Verdi assists by Tom Ford. Those are my joints. This open four. Oh yeah, man, always open four, baby. That's how we do. Spin chefs, coffee, easy. Oh no doubt about it. You sipping on tonight? Yeah, man. I had um uh, earlier. I had a Yamin. I had this uh West Virginia wine. This is a company called West Virginia. They make these different fruity wines, man. Man, you was good. I had some kind of raspberry wine tonight. I usually get the blueberry, but I tried the raspberry. It was good, man. Called West Virginia. Check it out. In fact, when I go back in, I'll bring a bottle back in and let you check it out. Will it cut through the cold weather? Yes. Aroma El Celsio is a fire. Yeah, it is, man. I like it. The El Celsio is nice, but I'm trying to get that sweet thing for the summertime. I'm trying to get Dulces de Fundo, man. I got to get that Dulces, Dulces Fundy. But from Aroma Juice is crazy, man. It's the strongest stuff. What is like? 90% juice, 90% oil. Come on, dog. That's crazy. Yo, where's Barma, man? Well, somebody get Barma back in here. And he, he said, man, he said I was disrespectful, man. You mean, was I disrespectful talking about boxing or disrespectful talking about decoration? Come on, man. Somebody get somebody get Barma back in here, man. Yeah, elephants are bad too, but I just, I just like bat more. Bat is a little bit more intense because it starts off dirty because it's dirty green. Then bada bing, bada boom. Let me go out here, put my water in my oatmeal, and I'll bring the bottles of this West Virginia wine out. Let y'all check it out. What's going on here? Ain't no more boxing? What's happening? What's popping off?
Pacquiao, Pacquiao kicked De La Hoya butt too. Pacquiao wore De La Hoya out. All right, here we go. West Virginia. It's called West Virginia. And check it out, Fruity. Fruit and Berries. And the name of this joint is, what's it called? Wild and Wonderful Raspberry. This is what I just got finished drinking. By West Virginia. Now, you know I don't like West Virginia because they, you know, they kind of they kind of crazy up there. They do like some crazy things. I wouldn't be caught at West Virginia unless I'm a football player. I'll tell you that. And Mountain Blueberry, Mountain Blueberry wine, man. This West Virginia joint, West Virginia wines, man. It's off the chain, dog. I mean, I got another one I like too, made by this company called um in New York, uh, called Bully Horn. They make some good wine too. They got sweet red. Somebody, hold on. Today I gotta stop talking about wine, you ready to go to bed. Then we got sweet water red. The sweet water red is good too. They also make bully wine. Now, this is made. This came out of New York. It's uh, founded in 1967 by Waters Taylor Bully Hill Vineyards. So this is called Sweet Water Red. And this is called Bully Hill Bully Hill Sweet Red. And uh, yeah, these are good too, man. Good wines, man. Good wines. Drink responsibly, though. Don't act a fool. All right, let's get back to this test that my boy said that Rose 31 smells like Tonka. That's Tonka. Rose 31. The thing, I, the thing I like about the Rose 31 is that animalic smell. It's not so much as the Rose. It's the animalic that you get out of Rose 31, man. It's so animalic. It's so sexual. Sexually. And I got my mom's name on it. Can I put my mom's name on it? Well, actually, I got on my mom's birthday in 2014 that she passed. I got, I got it, you know what I mean, for her. But I ain't know it was going to be the animalic, man. See how much I got left. I don't be spraying it all the time. Dedication to mom. I bought that for moms. My mom didn't wear perfumes and stuff like that. So when I wear Rose 31, man, you know, I think about moms. I think about moms all the time. I got pictures around here with moms all on my computer and everything. But yeah, straight up, Rose 31 smells nothing like Taco 25. Move on. He ran like a chicken. Crawford fighting shotgun. <laughs> hey, I'm like 40. A uh, foyer, foyer rose yeah, by who? I smelled it one time. It's not bad. Um, okay. Uh, calm this song. I had that for a minute. Okay, that's a good green eye right, bet. Crawford begging Spence to fight. Um, yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. The green season left. It ain't strap season yet. Barma throwing punches at the window. I know, man. I don't know why Barna got upset, man. We wasn't making fun of him. I wasn't making fun of him. I'm just saying, he know we usually talk niche. He know we talk niche. Me and him even talk after that. We talk about music and stuff. But I mean, come on, Barra. Come on, man. You're my boy, man. Don't do that, man. Don't do that, man. You know what I'm saying? I have to check those bottles out. Yeah, no doubt, man. Check them out. This is good booty. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Bully Hill, man. They sell it in, um, they sell that in a store called Fresh Grocer here, too. In fact, they sold all three of those. They sell them in Fresh Grocer here. Uh, got you, my collection of my fragrances, green notes. Grand Island Sam's, ooh, yeah, I know, man. That way you got to get a little diversified, man. You got to get some green. got to get some indie houses, you know, stuff like that. You got you to diversify, man. You got to diversify your collection, man. Diversify your collection, man. Holler at your boy. Almighty Pre Rose. Good. Good. That Rose, that Rose, they got, I want to call it Rose Barbera, but Rose Barbera is actually made by Guerlain. But it's Rose something, man. Whatever it is, that's a beautiful Rose, man. Beautiful Rose. 
Um, I wasn't around a lot of ladies, man. I was at work today, man. I was only on the round one woman, and she didn't really say anything, neither or. But if I smelled good, she would have told me when I walked in the office, oh, you smell good today. So she didn't say anything particularly about it, but she didn't say it stank. They didn't run me out of the room. It smelled good, and it lasts forever. And if you spread it in your clothes, it's going to really last forever. Effing fabulous. Spray. Buy it. You won't be disappointed. All right, where we at? You clowned this. I know, man. I, know. I ain't mean to get him down like that, though, man. Man, I thought he would know I was just kidding around, man. Uh, Invasion Barbarian was too barbershop for me, man. It was too barbershop. Man, I'm feeling some kind of way now, man. I got to get with I gotta get with my man, man. I got to get him on the side, man. Time for a body spray is garbage? <laughs> I don't think so, cuz. I got four now. I got tobacco vanilla, Tuscan leather, New York, New York, and they're effing fabulous, dog. Ain't nothing garbage about it to me. If you don't like it, I understand, bro. But I ain't got no problem with effing fabulous. That's the only way I buy that. I'm not spending $325. I just wouldn't have bought it at all. I wouldn't have bought it at all if it really wasn't popping. Because I'm not really an effing fabulous guy. I remember when it first came out down Bergdorf. But if I really didn't really dig it, I wouldn't have bought it just to buy the spray. I would have bought something else. I wouldn't have bought anything at all. I'm trying to tell you, man, check it out. Just go to the store and check it out. Remember, man, you can't be over there in La La Land. I don't mean La La Land, Internet Land, blah, 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 and you don't go out and smell it for yourself. Now, have you smelled it for yourself? And you tell me yours is garbage, I'm with you. But if you haven't smelled it yourself, then I don't know. So tell me if you smelled it yourself, bro. Jerry Ray Spring said, said you garbage. Oh, yeah? Oh, man, they, they doing some things. You made a young boy jump off his bunk bed. Ah, man, come on, man. Barman not no young boy. I don't think Barman like young boy, is he? I thought Barman was old head. Maybe I got him mixed up with another Barman, because another bar he's a producer in Chicago. That's the Barman I thought I was talking to. Either way, man, whether it was him or not, man, he shouldn't have went off like that, man. We tease each other all the time, man. He shouldn't have got like that, man. See, he, he called me rude, man. Y'all saw what he said, man. Y'all know I'm not rude. I have fun, man. I have fun. Right, I got to get ready to go, man. It's on 12 o'clock. I got to work in the morning, unlike y'all. And I never got a chance. I don't play trap music, dog. I play that old head music. Dog, man, I'm going to be making a track, man. Y'all mess me up. I don't even know what the name of this first next fight is. Who fighting this next fight? Let's go, real quick. Are y'all ready? Are 
Are y'all ready? Come on, dog. I know, man. Come on, dog. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. One hit it, quit it. background music. You know what I mean? You know how I do. We gotta make a track. What we got? Something needs clean up. Are oh, you just freestyle? Yeah, man. I'm just, just mess around real quick. Quick little beat. Just jam a little bit. Alright, so let's end this guy. I gotta get ready to go to bed, take a shower, house your boy. Look here. I'm happy y'all came out. Have y'all having a good time? But I got to go. If the family spray, PK doesn't like it. I do. So I don't know. But we'll see, baby. That's what we do, man. That's why we in this game. We in this game to learn. We in this game to have fun. We in this game to like do what they got to do. But the main thing is, we in this game to do what? Smell like nobody in the universe, solar system, or the Milky Way on any particular day, we will smell like nobody. We'll be the only ones smelling like the fragrance. You know why? Because we just don't buy anything. We buy the avant-garde. We buy the stuff nobody want to buy. We buy the stuff that's crazy. But we want to make sure that we're making it and we're wearing it and it's popping off. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, man, y'all be well, man. Look here, talk to y'all later on. Be well. Christian know, because Christian wears stuff every day. We like, what the heck is that? But yeah, man, you don't smell like anybody on any particular day. 
Shout out to my man Barman, man. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry you took it the way you did. I ain't mean for it to go off like that, man. I just wanna have fun with you, man. We have fun together. I hope you come back to the group, man. Hope you don't leave out, man. No negative stuff over here, man. We just like to have fun. Y'all tease me, y'all tease me all the time. I be like, all right, it's all good. Nothing I can do about it, man. But I'll tell you what, y'all have a great night, man. Be well. Hope to see y'all again soon, man. Heaven willing, all right? Be well, my brother. Thank you, thank you, brother. Thank you. And don't forget, buy some more music, man. Buy some more music, man. Download some more music. www.rajur.net. It'll take you where you need to go to get some music. And uh, that's all I got. I got to go before uh, Shotenham police come up. All right, YG. Talk to you, baby. Thank you for stopping by, man. Like, subscribe, and share, baby. We had fun, man. Hope you enjoyed yourself tonight. It wasn't 100 people here, but it was enough people here, so we had some fun. And we all got a chance to talk back and forth to each other. That's what it's all about. Let me fade it down, baby. Deuces. All right, well, I'm going to finish up. Y'all can watch this Pacquiao. Let me turn this light off so y'all can see the screen. You still can't see it. Y'all should be able to see the Pacquiao fight, right? Yeah, there you go, right there, Pacquiao. Let me shut this down. I'm going to go get my water and stuff, man. Y'all can check out the Pacquiao. Well, um... Pacquiao, De La Hoya, beat down. Pacquiao had a personal meeting with Oscar De La Hoya in Los Angeles, at which he accepted a bonus payment and agreed to become the promotional property of Golden Boy Promotions. Within a couple of months after that, it became clear that Pacquiao also had a promotional contract with Bob Arum's top rank boxing. And through a legal wrangle that lasted several months, ultimately it was determined that Pacquiao remained the property of top rank. Earlier this week, Oscar De La Hoya said, it's personal. Pacquiao doesn't realize he offended me with that. I'm going to make the point Saturday night. But when asked about that, Pacquiao said, it isn't personal for me. This is business. It's my business to go in and win the fight, and that's what I will do. The president of the Philippines says that Manny Pacquiao is the bearer of Filipino dreams. What pressure, what opportunity. casts himself tonight as something of a defender of Mexican honor against a fighter whose exploits against Mexican fighters have Here's a rose for your nose by Cole Deco. Ah, obscure juice, man, obscure juice. Cole Deco is called The Mask. Woo, it's some rose in this, baby. The rose in here is crazy, man. Straight three, I think it's like three Damascus rolls in this. Cold Deco, it never caught on. This is made in Japan. This is an Asian fragrance. Cold Deco, the mask. All right, let me shut down this stuff. But a lot of Mexican fans have been admire Pacquiao greatly because of his fierce fighting style which is the style we expect from most Mexican fighters. And one of the many verbal debates coming into the fight has been the subject of whom do Mexicans really support? De La Hoya or Pacquiao as a, another method perhaps of getting under the skin of De La Hoya and his people. Pacquiao's promoter even put together a cadre of Mexican stars for Pacquiao. Not surprisingly, they were almost all fighters who had been promoted by top rank. There's a 
sizable Filipino contingent in the crowd tonight. Oscar De La Hoya is long accustomed to having the home court advantage in terms of crowd support at all of his fights. And we'll certainly hear that reflected during his entry. But this may come as close to an even battle of crowd support as has ever been the case in Oscar's career. And now you hear the crowd responding, though, to the pictures of De La Hoya that appear on the big screens in the arena as he makes his way through the back hall of the MGM Grand Garden. As a reflection of the phenomenon he is, including this fight tonight, it's expected that Oscar De La Hoya will have earned almost a hundred million dollars in his last three fights. You know, you see big figures like that sometimes with football and basketball players, but that's spread out over a lot of years. He's doing it all in maybe 36 minutes or less, <laughs> and that's, that's hard to beat. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Iora Damas y Caballeros, the 10 time champion of the world from East L.A., Bosco De La Not the raucous greeting that we're accustomed to hearing for Oscar De La now it's uh, kind of balance out. There's a little of those, a little of cheers to both fighters. Every seat in the house is filled. There are Mexican flags, American flags, and Filipino flags to be found throughout the crowd. Some consider that Deloitte may be looking for a signature win on which to end his career. But in the last few days, he has said, I'm relaxed, I'm enjoying it, maybe I'll fight until I'm 40. If he fights till he's 40, he will almost certainly leave the sport, having generated more than a billion dollars in pay-per-view revenue. Unprecedented. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Golden Boy Promotions and Top Rank Incorporated are proud to present the main event of the evening, the dream match. 12 rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. Brought to you in association with HBO Pay-Per-View and MB Promotions and sponsored by Cazadores, the one with the deer on it. Tegate, Cerveza Con Character, DeWalt Tools, Guaranteed Tough, Southwest Airlines, Low Fares, No Hidden Fees, and Full Throttle. Go Full Throttle or Go Home. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission, Chairman Bill Brady, Executive Director Keith Kaiser. At ringside, the three judges scoring this bout, should it go the distance, Adelaide Bird. Stanley Christodoulou and Dave Moretti and inside the ring your referee in charge of the action at the bell Tony Weeks L.A. Bird is blind for the thousands in attendance. I didn't know L.A. Bird was uh, married to the ball the uh, referee that everybody uh, liked what's his name real cool dude I didn't know she was married to him uh, Clutch is going on sale tomorrow, but I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make Clutch. I'll probably get it next week sometime, though. Waiting out of the blue corner, wearing red and white. Officially weighing 142 pounds. Professional record, 52 fights. 47 victories, including 35 knockouts, with three defeats and two even. Ladies and gentlemen, the former flyweight world champion... Former junior featherweight world champion, former super featherweight world champion and current lightweight champion of the world from General Santos City, the fighting pride of the Philippines and number one pound for pound fighter in the world, Manny Pacman. Fighting out of the 
red corner, wearing burgundy and gray, official weight, 145 pounds. Since capturing Olympic gold, his professional record stands at 44 fights. 39 victories, including 30 knockouts with 5 defeats and 10 world titles. Ladies and gentlemen, the former junior lightweight, former lightweight, former super lightweight, former two-time welterweight, former two-time junior middleweight, and former middleweight champion of the world, the Golden Boy, from East L.A., Buster. The thing about him and Mayweather is they never unified the title. They never unified the weight class. I understand that. They never unified the weight class. They just go up class. I mean, that's cool too, but they never unified the belts. Okay, look. If he goes right here, it's okay. Anything below that's low. Right here is okay. Anything below that's low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourself at all times. Let's go. I watched the first couple rounds with y'all. First couple of drinks. A good dream, a bad dream, an exciting dream. Let's find out. Oh, that ain't work. I messed that up. The Filipino crowd chanting for Pacquiao as he moved toward the center of the ring even before the opening bell. Which styles will emerge in the early rounds? Is Delaware here to box or to fight? Is Pacquiao here to try to create an immediate storm or to tactically bide his time and hope to pressure Delaware in the late rounds? Good straight left hand up the middle for Manny Pacquiao. Well, he tried to get slick. He tried to get slick. Freaking God. did not show up so graphically at the weigh-in yesterday where Delaware was barefoot and Pacquiao had tennis shoes on. Today, they do look four inches apart in height. You can see the height difference here. Oscar seems to be very intent and very angry because they see the expression and looking in his eyes at no one. But he's fighting a very intelligent fight. He takes a straight left hand and a right hook from Pacquiao and seems intent on retaliating. But already Pacquiao shows you that he wants to move in, move out quickly. Move in, land the flurry, move back out, out of Delaware's range. And the quickness of Pacquiao is a factor in round one. Those two punches have reddened Oscar's face already. They seem to have been the only square punches that have landed that far. But it's interesting that Manny is using his footwork. He's using his foot and moving around better than Oscar. And Oscar is not firing his jab. Perhaps because of the early bobbing head movement of Manny Pacquiao. Eloy knows he wants to keep his jab going throughout the fight. He hasn't really gotten it going so far. This, this has the makings of being a very interesting fight. And I think as it goes on sooner or later, you're going to get some very good exchanges. But right now, Manny is fighting a very, very smart fight. Well, if there are two graphic impressions from round one, they're simple. Delaware is so much taller. Pacquiao so much faster. And now Delaware nails Pacquiao momentarily against the ropes and catches him with a left hook to the back. Oscar needs to do just what he's doing now and use it for the left jam. But he can't find Pacquiao at the moment. Pacquiao's movement, uh, Confusing him at the moment. But if they're right, they're getting busy watching the jab, they're right down, Manny is hitting him with his punches up. That, that momentarily shocked Oscar. I think the speed has been bothersome for Oscar throughout the round. We simply can't believe how easily Pacquiao snakes his left hand right through the middle of Delaware's guard. Delaware lands a left hook, but Pacquiao gets away. He punched the method manager too much for the most part.
Very, very good. Keep boxing. It's very important. You better keep it back off the ropes. When you give the ropes, stop. When you're looking for him, he can't do anything. All he can do is a straight hand or a hook, and you saw what he did. And he trips. He doesn't know what to do. Lively, lively, lively. Assert yourself. Assert your jab. Right here, you see what surprised me and has been definitely the most effective punch. The little left hand lead of Manny's is reaching right between the gloves of Oscar and dipping and getting away after he lands the punch. Akel's learning curve has accelerated through the middle portion of his career. There was a moment when he was, even though dangerous and destructive, one play, one note, two. Jab, jab, straight left hand. His ability to fashion the first hand, or the lead left hand, starting his offense with it, as he's doing there, shows how much he's progressed as a tactician. One thing that you is very obvious. Oscar De La Hoya has very little hand movement for many pack guys using his upper body to move in with his hands, his feet, his gloves, but Oscar is too stationary at this stage. Manny is a much more elusive target. You know, Oscar used to dominate smaller guys when he was a young fighter. He was always put in with guys that waited the weight division to less than him. He isn't doing it yet. And he hasn't really adjusted to the straight left-hand lead of Manny Pacquiao. He seems to be expecting Pacquiao to start with the right jab, and Pacquiao continues to confound him by coming straight up the middle with the left-hand lead. He has written Delaware his nose from top to bottom with that punch. You heard Freddie Roach telling Manny Pacquiao between rounds, as soon as you feel your back touch the ropes, move to the side, and get away. He expects it's a different fight if they're in the center of the ring where Pacquiao speed dominates as opposed to along the ropes where Delaware's strength could become a factor. There is a little welt on the side of Oscar's left eye where he has brought a couple of right hands. And that is upper body movement in his defense is very, very effective at the same Oscar cannot time his head movement to he's moving and bobbing and weaving and dancing in and out. Indeed, Delaware is reduced to mostly trying to go at the body because he hasn't been able to find Pacquiao's head. But he has no head movement at all. His head is stationary. Good body shot. Doubled over Oscar at sea. And as you said, he is, he is bending his head so that there is only almost no height difference between them. Pacquiao lands a brilliant uppercut and the pivot. And if round one was mostly Manny Pacquiao, round two is even more so. Zilloy has not been able to solve Pacquiao's speed, movement, the south cross style. If you look, if you get in the fine details, not only the area boom in his left is not there with Oscar, he's fighting coming in most of the time meeting on his heels, whereas Manny is operating on the ball on his feet. And somehow, so far, he is neutralizing Oscar's left hand, one of the best weapons in the sport for over a decade. The speed and variety of Manny Pacquiao on offense, the head movement defensively, the straight left hand up the middle, he has carved out an edge in the first couple of rounds against the longer, taller Oscar De La without throwing punches because you give him a shot you give him a chance because of his speed jab 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 and throw throw to the body and then up top and then finish off with the body but don't walk in looking for him without punches you give him all the chances you understand throw throw punches You're making, you're making it hard. You, now you may make it hard to find you, and he's taking chances. He's starting to make mistakes. Okay. Copy of box numbers through the second round show Manny Pacquiao landing more than half of his power shots. This is a big problem for Oscar De La Hoya, who has landed only six of 56 attempt jabs, according to Copy of Box. Deloya hasn't really gotten his offense going, and he hasn't solved Pacquiao's game yet. Even though Manny is slightly winning, I think as the fight goes on, I see him becoming even better. I don't, I can't really 
gives it as Oscar doing much better. Yes, he looks a little sore, doesn't look as strong, not even so weak. And as I said, his it's, it's upper body movement is not going You're telling me we're going to see a shutout, Emmanuel? And I think Manny's going to get stronger as the time goes on. Even though he's winning now. Oscar has no, no weakness in his punches. He's just stationary. Why did so many ringside experts think that the fight wasn't even a credible idea? Because at first I really thought he was going to be a bigger guy, and as it turned out, he's just a taller guy. The difference is I thought he would have came down about 160 pounds. It's mostly for him to almost pick up any weight, and he's just taller, but no, nowhere near where we say stronger, or as big as he should be. Boxing annoys and irritates Oscar, he says. And he is very annoyed and irritated at the moment. He is not getting it off at all. He hasn't thrown a punch in 20 or 30 seconds, and that was a reach-in right hand. But sooner or later, he's going to land something. You have to believe that. He just landed a good left hook to the body there. And Pacquiao, following Freddy Roach's instructions, moved off the ropes as soon as he felt his back against it. There is a good swelling outside the left eye of Oscar De La Hoya, the product of Manny Pacquiao's right hooks. There's a redness in the middle of Del Oya's face, the product of Pacquiao's straight left hand. Now Del Oya seems to relax just a little and begins to find the target with his jab. He might describe the first couple of rounds as shock and all. Pacquiao's speed taking Del Oya to the cleaners. Now Oscar seems just a little more comfortable, though Pacquiao is still more offensive for the aggressor in the fight, moving in and out effectively. But Oscar's about to be more aggressive, but the punt with the snap and the speed is coming from Pacquiao. I don't, I don't see that the punt the snap in Oscar's punches as much as Manny is. There's a lot, a lot of difference in the speed. And that's because he's uncertain where Manny's going to be. Good point. Is it also because it's a physically more challenging process to move down in weight, particularly when you're 35 years old, than to move up in weight when you're 29? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, right now, you're going to Oscar, I know he's into this kind of good meat or whatever he's doing with things, but uh, to me, it just doesn't look that strong when he does. Wild punches, Oscar is not landing his big shots. Nice head movement, son. Give me one thing, bro. Andrew, you know, there's nothing wrong. Come on, you all right? Yes, sir. Okay. Let's look up now, let's look up now. Okay, team, let's look up now. Let's look up now. Let's look up now. Let's look up now. It's very slow right now, okay? Now, the fans, I'm going to try his lead out. Use your face a little bit more. Manny Pacquiao is the first southpaw Oscar De La Hoya has fought since September of 1997 when he fought Hector Camacho Sr. Pacquiao has dominated De La Hoya in the first two rounds with his straight left-hand lead up the middle. Early in his career, Pacquiao always set his front up with Jay. De La Hoya seems shocked and not ready for the left-hand lead of Manny Pacquiao. Harold Hattie scored 3-3. Three, three. That's it, Jim. 3-0, 30-27, to Manny Pacquiao. Jim, what he's doing is he's turning the guy. Look, great jab, great jab, left hand, and then he moves to the side. He's got Oscar turning. If Oscar can't set, he can't set, he can't get his punches off, and Manny's turning him. Oscar looks like a guy going out, doing a 360. 3 to nothing. Manny Pacquiao based on not only clean punching, Great generalship, and he turns the guy. And when Harold was speaking, Oscar landed a good straight right hand, but then Pacquiao came back seconds later with a flurry of... Y'all still hanging around, huh? I had to go take a shower, man, so I can get ready to go to bed. But I wanted to let y'all know that I'm going to be uh, testing... What is this called? ...to his own offense. Ormon James... Awa de U. Orman James. Nawab of U. Nawab of U. Y'all ever heard of that? Nawab of U. We can already put that on right now. He's got the shower. Nice and fresh. Okay. 
and that's a factor in the fight. All right. Is often the number one weapon of choice. That smells so crazy, man. This Nawab smells crazy. And we got Lost Cherry. Try Lost Cherry on another arm. Holla at your boy. Bars. And then we'll be out, y'all. I'm glad y'all hung around. Check out the fight, man. YouTube the fights. I YouTube all these fights, man. Just watch them in succession, you know what I mean? Right side, they're leaving a perfect hole for Bannon to go right through, and that's what he's doing. This chair really is strong, man. Um, and that's what Oscar needs to do is keep looking at jail. Man, it could have time in so much. I'm not getting either. I'm not getting either. I'm not getting a skank. I'm not getting an animal. I'm not getting anything. It doesn't smell like Mason Francis Kerr John Oo, but it's kind of like that. Where it's not really Oody, it's just there. Again, like I always say, probably the carry, the main gist of the fragrance. I don't know. I don't know what the notes are. But at this point, it went on inky, like some Oody's doing my skin going inky. But that's it. There's no animalic, there's no skank. There's no jig off skank. And I, I don't smell the animal details, so nah. It's very safe, but it's soft. It's like a soft dude. Lost cherry? It's freaking cherry. Cherry and, and wood. Wood cherry. I don't know, man. I don't know if I was paying that much for lost cherry. I think I'll just keep getting samples. Tell me get about five mil worth of samples, I'll be straight. You know what I mean? Anytime I go, give me a sample. Go, give me a sample. Go, give me a sample. Get five mil. Put in my five mil bottle like I did. My other joint. Oh, yeah, you definitely smell cherry. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. You smell cherry, man. It smells like, it smells like cherry Coke. It smells, it smells like cherry Coke. And it's not really vanilla. I smell more like a little bit of wood. I don't really smell vanilla. It's like cherry and a little bit of wood. Numerical anatomy of a white Power punches and Yeah, that's all I get. That's all I'm getting right now. Wood and cherry. All right, so much, y'all. Look here, man. Again. Taco 25 does not smell like. Yeah, yeah, definitely even. But it's not strong, so you wouldn't. You can wear this in the summertime, I guess. You know, I wear stuff all the time. But yeah, you, you can go summertime with this. Beat him up, and the body tries something new. The boss will just work his jab, keep his right hand in the front of his face, and when Manny comes in, take the hand. I'm telling you, it's really soft, man. The root is really like. All right, that's it. What what I'm supposed to do now? Now I don't know what's gonna happen later on. Maybe when I wake up in the middle of the night, it's gonna get oody, but nah, not right now. And lost cherry smells like cherry. I mean, but it does smell like cherry. It's like cherry coke. Cherry coke. Lost cherry is cherry coke. All right, I'm out, y'all. Thank you for hanging around, man. I love y'all. Man, I appreciate you, man. Tell Barma I said, man, be cool with that. It ain't that deep, man. We all boys. We all girls. We all the family. That's what we do, man. We have fun together. And I'm out, man. Be well. Have a great night. Talk to y'all soon. Leave comments below. Comments below. Like, subscribe, and share, man. Let people know we do niche. We do designer from time to time, but we mainly do niche. I'm trying to figure out what that real juice is. Oh, it's important. Never smell like anybody on any particular day in the universe, the Milky Way, the galaxy, or the hemisphere. Yep.